you save time. We heard earlier about how, you know, how much time is being wasted by these social networks. No one ever quantifies how much time is saved by social networks. How much time might you spend searching for information that your network already knows? So I'm not going to sort of justify each tool in turn. I think we've already kind of heard that excellently from, from Sue. I am going to add one more, kind of like the fourth part of the trilogy, if you like, and, and that is something that we call RSS, or really simple syndication, not for that matter. Also called news feeds or web feeds. And RSS is a tool that pulls everything together. So RSS, very simply, is a way of packaging content from a website so that it can land up on your computer without you having to go and get it. So all news sites these days produce an RSS feed. So instead of me having to check the Guardian, check the BBC, uh, check the Telegraph, I can subscribe to their RSS feed and I just open uh, a little bit of software or a web browser window and all of their content comes to me as soon as it's published. So I don't have to keep remembering which blogs do I read, which news sites do I like. I subscribe to their feed, their content comes to me, I save time typing in URLs and trying to remember where I need to go. So RSS is really important because that's what pulls everything else together. And it's a key way of managing your information because one of the key parts of social media is you, when we're being social, it's not just about um, what's called classic communication, that, that information that is also called noise. It's not really uh, information in the sense of, of having data in, but it's emotional information. It's saying, you know, hi, I'm still here and still alive. That's, that's the, uh, the tweets you'll see when you go, I'm having a cup of tea. You don't care that I'm having a cup of tea, apart from the fact that it might make you want a cup of tea. But it tells you that I'm still here, I'm, I'm still functioning. So when you're pulling in all this data via RSS, Part of social media is to be able to cherry pick and distribute those lovely cherries to your network. To say, I saw this great design, I saw this great article, I just met this person who's really inspiring. You want to push that back out to your network so that they can benefit from the things that you're benefiting from. So RSS lets you manage that information and manage your time. 